Right, golfers, Q&A time. Mark Crossfield here answering your questions on my dedicated Answering Your Questions channel. Not trying to chase that silly algorithm, just trying to give you the best info I can. So great question here asking about golf grips. Pause it if you want to read it all. Basically, he is asking how to choose the best golf grip. And as someone who literally has just changed their golf grips quite massively, I hopefully can answer this question. But the biggest problem with this question, unfortunately, I can answer it because I was lucky enough to test loads. And unfortunately, just you're not allowed to test enough grips. It's crazy. Why are they not giving you better chances to test more grips? I don't get it because I've changed my grips dramatically. So I've gone for a mid-size grip. I've got a men's small glove on, so I haven't got big hands. I've gone plus four, so mid-size plus four, plus four meaning that the taper isn't as aggressive. It's four thicker down at the bottom, almost like four layers of tape down here. Mid-size as well, which feels bigger, which to me makes me feel like I can pull harder on it because I'm trying to get more power into it. Also, I've got a line, which is this red ridge that you see underneath, which I can feel in my hand. Basically, I can feel it in my hold to try and help me set my hands on the club in a way that gives me control of the face because my grip is something I've been working on. So this is a million miles away from any grip I've ever played in my life. And the only reason I was able to do this was because I was lucky enough to go and test loads of grips. And I think that's the biggest problem for you. So when it comes to you guys and girls picking the best grip, I really don't know how you do it. I think the industry needs to wise up a little bit to giving you some better opportunities because it really did open my eyes. And I do think there's more that can be done in your grips than you realize than just going for like a standard, you know, golf pride, velvet east, whatever, that's what comes on. Going to the plus four for me was huge, certainly on the small chipping clubs as well, where you come down the grip, not getting really thin, feels nice and makes sense in my hand. And the align absolutely makes sense. So my advice to you would be just try and get your hands on as many different grips as possible go and see a pro who's going to make money out of regripping your club. You know, they're going to make, there's good money if people want to regrip clubs. There's like always better margin in them than even selling the blooming things, it seems sometimes. So go and see a pro who's prepared to regrip your clubs, but say to them, look, I want plenty of options. I want to know what to do. So maybe have you got three options I could go to a range and hit with or four options and really go for it. Go fit, go thin, go plus four, go align, do whatever you can and work with that pro maybe to help you work it into whatever you're working on in your swing. Because that's what I did. I just got a grip that really started to suit what I'm trying to work on in my actions. And it's really helped. Like it's shocked me how much it's helped. So I hope that helps. It's kind of help that doesn't help, doesn't it? But there are people out there who will be able to put different ones on for you and will have some in their shop for you to feel and hopefully go and hit. That's the key. It's a combination of feel with some ideas like the align is good if you want to get a reference where your grip is plus four is good for me down the grip when i'm chipping the mid-size makes more sense when i'm trying to pull hard on something to have something literally to hold on to but they make sense in my head as much as they're you know they're anecdotal to a certain extent apart from the align i think that could help a lot of golfers thanks for the question